Right, I'm going to give you a bit of a a bit of a timeline of, uh, of of my sort of cancer diagnosis, where it started. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about cancer, and I've got some images to show you um, of where my cancer is and where I am at the moment. So I was first first diagnosed in 2003, uh, a couple of months before me and Adele was opening our 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 dream restaurant, and I had a rare a rare melanoma, skin cancer, and it was in my uh, left eye on the on the white of my eye. Adele noticed a noticed a uh, a mark, but it was only. Only me going to the doctor, so I pulled me back. That I said, just have a look at this, really. So anyway, cut a long story short. Uh, over two years, Professor Rennie removed one large tumour and two and two smaller ones from my eye. Removed part of the white of my eye and stitched a a baby's uh, placenta on there to help it help it go back. I had two courses of radiotherapy which uh, at, at this point um, meant that I, I had to have a, a radioactive plaque sewn onto my, uh, onto my eyeball which is as unpleasant as it just sounded to you then. Um, I also then had uh, chemotherapy injections straight into my eyeball. So you lie on the bed, Professor Rennie sticks these drops in to numb all your, numb all your eye, and then says, don't move, don't move. Hells, bells, bang, in it went, done. So, whilst I was working 24-7 to build up a dream restaurant in August 2015, I found a, a lump on the side of my face here, uh, and the, the biopsy confirmed the cancer had come back. So I had major, major seri surgery to my head and neck to remove all my salivary gland round here, and all my lymph nodes down that side there. That's why my neck looks a bit weird on that side, but still. Four weeks after surgery, I had radiotherapy every day for seven weeks. That was Monday to Friday, so you had Saturday, Sunday off. First couple of weeks, I was absolutely, absolutely fine. But then getting to week three, four, oh man alive, it was absolutely horrendous. I remember Adele, she's only small, <laughs> physically, Dragging me into the, into the into the car. It was it was awful, and that, and and that's where I. You know, I I, I hid myself away so that my profile was quite, quite high at the time as a, as a chef. Um, and I just really didn't want to, really didn't want to speak to anybody. The only person that I spoke to for six months, was it was Adele. And they were in sort of one word answers because I was absolutely fucked, absolutely shagged. I'd lost all sensation in my mouth, all my mouth ulcered up down here. My tongue is uh, sort of paralysed on the on the left hand side where they'd cut all my nerves. Taste I'd completely lost, and I admit, when I say completely lost, it and everything I ate was the consistency of of cardboard. It was it was it was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, but that's you know that's coming back. I'd say you no. Know, obviously, being a chef, your your taste is a highly tuned tool that you that, that you use for, for for your job. And you know to have that ripped away was well, it was devastating for me. So I think I've, I think I was in a little bit of depression as well, really, with that. 
and probably that's the reason why I sort of hid myself away. I, you know, it's really tiring to talk about cancer. It's like a vacuum that sucks you down. But doing this blog allows me to, to speak about it. And it allows people to know exactly where I am, so they're not... So, so when they come to me and say, oh, how are you doing? You know, with the, with the cancer face. You know, it's nice now, because they've already read it, they know where I am. I just get a pat on the back and, you know, or a big hug from the lads and stuff. And it's, you know, that's... It's, it, it's better for me. It's better for me, is that? So like, once I've said it, it's out there. And I've not bottled it up, if that makes if that makes sense. So that's so that's pretty good. So January 2019, I'd seen I'd seen Dr. Lester and he was putting me onto 12 monthly. So I was on three monthly checks, six monthly checks, and then onto 12 monthly checks. So I thought, I'm smashing this. Do you know what I mean? I'm smashing this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through it. Is what I thought. Uh, I started, I started with a bit of pain in my, uh, in my left knee. Now I've never had cruciate ligaments. I snapped them when I was in my middle twenties playing football. But obviously, you know, helping, helping out with the. The Kurt Burton uh, under 14s as they are now. I wanted to get my knee sorted, you know, so I could commit more to the to the training sessions and you know and helping them improve their their football. But the pain became that bad. I, I just weren't I weren't I weren't sleep. So I started well, I started dual immunotherapy, which is two drugs going into my system. It takes pretty much all day to. Uh, to go in, but uh, I had a bit of a problem where my uh, liver sort of became inflamed, uh, you know, and could have been could have been life threatening. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't say that I don't say that lightly, really. But it just made me so ill. I only had two of the four sessions. I've now had a third session, which I had on on Monday, but we've only the one. We've only the one. Only the one drug. It just, it just makes me so ill. It just makes me so ill. So I've been on steroids for the last eight weeks. I'm now off them as of as of today. But I'm just. I feel like I feel horrendous today. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, it's Wednesday, so it's so it's had 48 hours to get into my system, and I can feel. That it's in my system now. I feel, I feel clammy. I feel a bit. I feel like I've got a bit of a hangover. If that makes sense. So, that's all done. That's where we are, and now I'm going to show you some images now of where we, uh, of where we are with my uh, my leg and my uh, kidney. So. So this is an, an MRI scan of my um, of my left knee. So you can see that's my thigh bone there, and you can see it's quite opaque there, and that's what that should look like. But you can see that's where the melanoma has metastasized and gone into, and well, basically moved and dropped into my knee there, and you can see where all that white is. So that's what had been causing me some some pain. So we'll just play this for you. So this is an MRI scan. You can see it all, all in here. I'm just showing you front and back. So that's where we are with that. So that's the MRI scan, which is quite astonishing and quite scary at, uh, at, the, at the same time, I suppose. So that's the bastard that's going to 
eventually get me. But there's, um, so I'll show you the PET scans now. I'll show you where we are with the uh, the PET scan of my knee. So with a PET scan, it, it goes sort of deeper, deeper inside inside of you, and it it, it appears like a, a hot spot is what what's what Doctor Lester said to me, like a hot spot. But you'll you'll see from these videos. So I'll show you these. So that's the uh, the PET scan of uh, of my left leg. You can see where that all all glows up. So what I'll do now is I'll show you where the bloody thing is on my uh, above my kidney. So this is this is me laid down. So that's my two arms there, and then that's inside my body. So you can see how deep these PET scans go in, and what is pointing to there is the the hot spot on the uh, amino gland that's just on top of my kidney. So I'll, I'll play this one through for you as well. So hopefully that's what we're gonna, with this immunotherapy, that's what we're gonna try and, 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 and measure, hopefully the success of capturing it and, and, and sort of controlling it. But this drug only works on 50% of of people, so toss a coin. <laughs> so that's where we are. So I hope that's brought you up to speed exactly where exactly where I am. I'll um, I'll still be doing this blog. Obviously, I found it quite uh, sort of quite good for my mental health as well. You know, quite cathartic. You know, quite. As I said earlier, it's good just to get it out and then it's out of me, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So there we are. That's the post. Keep checking it out on uh, on a knife edge and uh, keep an eye out for the updates on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, I'll see you all later.